Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Mental Toughness and Body Show. My name is Rob Evans, and I'm your weight loss coach, health strategist, and internationally published author, helping take your life, your business, and your mindset from where you are to becoming absolutely unstoppable. So at the date of recording today's podcast, we are six days out from Christmas, uh, which is an exciting time of the year, isn't it, Christmas? And I wanted to focus today on your Christmas mindset from a business perspective, also from a personal perspective of what Christmas means to you. And I'm highlighting today four key aspects that I want you to focus on. Um, This can be a really stressful time of the year. Uh, We, so here in Melbourne, Victoria, we have come out of lockdown, of COVID lockdown, about, I think it's about 50 days ago now, we've got uh, no Uh, cases of community COVID, which is uh, is brilliant because we were locked down for seven and a half months. I believe we've got about five cases, but they're in hotel quarantine, so they're not in the community. Um, So it's it's all looking good for us here. So what the, I guess the vibe is in um, our state, we've been locked up for so long, Christmas is here, people are, uh, you know, going out in the shops, they're spending a lot of money, you know, the restrictions with face masks have also been uh, restricted. So if you're in a shopping centre, uh, you need to have your mask on. But if you're outside, you don't. If you're going to do a workout, you don't need to have one, all that kind of stuff. But people are, are starting to become more complacent, but they're also becoming excited about they can see family for the first time or they can gather, um, you know, for the first time pretty much all year round. Uh, So it's an exciting time for people. But with that also brings some stresses because um, you know what it's like when you've got those family members, perhaps that you catch up only once or twice a year, there's some tension, there's some angst. This is in every family. Uh, And so when you come together, that can be stressful. The stress of the day and are you putting on a big enough feast? Is it gonna taste right? all the food that you've got to get, how long you're out, you've got to start preparing for, all that kind of stuff. Where you seat people, it's kind of like a wedding. It's like, oh, well, I can't put Annie, Annie, watch the name next to Annie, whatever, because they're going to fight or they don't get on together. Um, so it, there's a lot of pressure. What presents to get? Are you going to have time to get them all? Uh, I know one thing I did was um, I think about Christmas early and realizing that we could still be locked down at Christmas. Now, this was obviously before we came out of lockdown 50 days ago. I thought, well, there's a chance we still could be locked down. Um, so I ordered everything online and just hoped that it would get here in time. Because again, because the, the Australian Postal Service is really overworked, they're working seven days a week because the volume of parcels is like tripled or quadrupled over COVID. Um, so there's just a lot of pressure all around. So given that, We're a week out and I want you to think about how can you enjoy the experience of Christmas a lot more. And so what I want you to do is think about what's the true outcome that you really want for Christmas. Maybe you need to think about it a little bit differently this year. Maybe you already do this, uh, but I know uh, when it came to my mum, my parents have passed away now, but my mum put so much pressure on herself for Christmas. And then what did that do? Well, that pressure filtered down to everybody else because by the time you got there, there was so much pressure on making sure you said the right thing or commenting on the detail that had gone to the the table layout, the Christmas decorations, the things that are around. Did you notice all the little things? Um, Commenting on the food and maybe there was like 25 ingredients in the turkey stuffing and it's like you had to comment on, did you notice this flavor or this flavor? Uh, There was just so uh, so much pressure that when you actually got to the day, you felt tense and you didn't enjoy it as much as you could have because it wasn't so, uh, you know, it wasn't so relaxed. So I'm sure you can relate to what I'm talking about. I know people uh, have so much pressure from their mums to make sure that they can match their standard of what Christmas should look like. And if it's slightly different to what your mum thinks that it should be, then it can be a potential disaster and just those snide comments that you can get. I'm sure as I'm saying this, some of you are smiling, say, yeah, my mum does that. Um, So... I want you to think about this. How do you approach this last week of Christmas and Christmas Day differently? I want you to think about what's the true outcome that you want for Christmas? So for me, Christmas is about um, now it's really for my kids and say, you know, I want to um, enjoy the day. Like I want to, um, you know, have fun with my family. I want to really feel good. 
and you know, just really enjoy it in a relaxed environment because my schedule is busy, busy, busy. So it's a top, an opportunity to stop, slow everything down and just enjoy um, the, I guess, the giving of presents and enjoying seeing the look on the kids' faces and seeing them enjoy, um, you know, what it is that they get and in just enjoying some time together where we don't have the pressure of schedules and being places and, and that kind of stuff. Now, because, um, you know, I have to split the Chris Christmas between the kids being... Um, you know, with me and then they have to be with their mum as well. So we'll have breakfast and, and lunch together and they'll go with their mum to see the other side of the family. My parents have both passed away now. I don't have a big family. So, um, you know, it'll just be with um, with me and the girls and then it'll, for the rest of the day, it'll be by myself. So I plan what I'm going to do for, um, you know, the rest of the part of the day. But my outcome is to have a stress-free environment, no pressure, just a lot of love, a lot of fun. We enjoy some nice food and, you know, not put uh, pressure on myself to have to, you know, perform or do any of those things. Uh, we'll have a nice lunch. I'm going to prepare it. Uh, we'll have some nice decorations and, you know, some fun and just, you know, laughter and, and all that kind of stuff. But I realise my situation is a little bit unique and some people have, gee, I've got clients that have got, um, you know, like seven kids and they've got enormous families and they can have like 20 or 30 plus people for Christmas lunch. And so, um, you know, that means there's a lot of personalities in place as well. So um, potential for pressure and all that kind of stuff. So I want you to just take a step away from it and think, okay, I don't, don't think about it from, I need to do all these things. Think about, so at the end of the day, what is the outcome that you want to achieve for this Christmas? And maybe if you focus a little bit more on that, then that can help remove a lot of the pressure. Like when um, my mum passed away, then all of a sudden that next year, even though it was sad without mum and dad, there was just this less pressure, I suppose, to have to perform everything at a high standard uh, just to satisfy one person. Where it's like everybody else didn't enjoy the day so much because there was so much pressure on the day to match what, uh, someone else's expectation was so um, let's not do that so um, that's the first thing the second thing would be to say okay so what are those stresses that you have at Christmas time and in this week leading up to Christmas what are they what are they for you and I guess the step three is that how can you do it differently this year Mate, don't just do it like you've always done it. Think, how can you do it differently this year to make it more fun and relaxed? I mean, it's been a hell of a year. And I, um, how was it yesterday? I did the, on the podcast with Fong and he was telling me that uh, they're locked down again in Canada, completely locked down. Now we're open. Now we've been locked down more than um, anyone else in the world, but um, they're now locked down, we're open. I know what it feels like to be locked down and to be locked down at this time of the year. I think he said you could still see some family and stuff. So Christmas might be a bit different, um, but it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. And it's been a, a tough year for everybody. And so depending on what you're going in your, on in your part of the world right now will depend on what you're going to be doing this Christmas. Uh, so think about, how can you do it differently to remove those stresses? And maybe you've got some new ones in there, but how can you just for a day this week, uh, you know, put those things to a side so you can enjoy this time of the year and not forget uh, the fact that, you know, this is a beautiful time of the year to be celebrating with family. Now, one of the things that I was contemplating was not setting up a Christmas tree this year uh, because, you know, it, the year felt differently and that kind of stuff. And then I thought, you know what, that's not a good example to set for uh, the kids. And it feels not, it doesn't feel Christmassy if you don't have the Christmas tree up. So um, a couple of weeks ago, we got the Christmas tree down. It might've been last week, actually. We got the Christmas tree down, set it up and, uh, you know, it looks really nice in, in the house. And just that process, I think, of setting up, the, we, we don't use a real one, we use a, a, you know, a fake looking real one and putting all the nice decorations on. There's something in doing that that makes you feel a little bit more Christmassy. Uh, so uh, don't lose the Christmas spirit this year. Now, I get that some of you may also be listening to this, that you, you don't celebrate Christmas, and that's fine uh, too. This is what I would say is a time for you to be reflecting on, um, you know, your year, um, the... 
uh, you know, how you're going to focus for uh, the next year, celebrating all the beautiful things in your life. And really, I suppose, moving into uh, what I believe is the fourth step to, to be focusing on this Christmas is making sure that you're building these loving connections. I mean, if you think about Christmas in no other way than uh, this is a time to build loving connections within your family, within your friends. And let's not forget about uh, most of us that are listening to this are entrepreneurs, business people. How do we share that love and build that love and those connecting loving relationships with our clients as well? So in my case, it's my, my fitness family. And how do I share that love with them? Um, because it, it has been a really tough year. And uh, I think we've supported each other really well through this time. But we just don't know what can happen. I mean, there's vaccines being released, but we don't know what 2021 is going to uh, to hold for us. I mean, in two days time, I was, uh, my plan at the start of the year was to be jumping on a plane with my daughters and we were flying to uh, Anaheim and we were spending Christmas day, um, Christmas Eve um, and Boxing Day, we were spending it at Disneyland and we were going to spend New Year's in, in Hollywood. Uh, so um, we're not able to do that because we can't travel out of the country. Uh, so uh, we don't know when that's going to happen. Maybe next year, probably 2022, to be, to be honest with you. Uh, so, um, you know, and the things that we did have planned at the start of the year haven't necessarily come off. I've had some, uh, some other things that have been um, unpredicted and beautiful opportunities that have, have come to fruition as well. But I think one of the biggest things that I've got out of this year has been about building stronger relationships, deeper relationships uh, with, um, you know, my fitness family, with my children and, um, you know, that feels really good to be able to to be able to be doing that. So I think if nothing else this Christmas, you can look at it maybe slightly different and say, how can I build those stronger, deeper relationships with all those important people that are in my life? And just don't forget about uh, your, uh, your, your clients, um, because let's face it, at the end of the day, without those people, you're not going to be running a, a successful business. So, um, so you need them. And so you want to do it from the right place though, like do it from here uh, so that you are building connections because you want to, because you want to have a, a deeper and greater impact in people's lives. And look, maybe as a closing thought, if there are relationships out there that are broken for you or a little bit, you know, not quite right where you would want them, then maybe this is a time in this week, uh, or even on Christmas Day, if you know you're meeting up, to maybe repair some of those relationships so that you can start 2021 with a clean conscience. Uh, so, I just think that this is a wonderful time of the year. Uh, it's still busy, I know. Like this week is so so busy. I'll still be working 16-hour days myself, um, uh, right up to Christmas Eve. Um, I know that uh, a lot of my clients that are running businesses. Some have taken leave already. Some are working up till Wednesday. Uh, I don't think I've spoken to anyone though that hasn't said that they are so busy. So we're heading into another busy week, uh, but let's not make it so stressful for ourselves that we forget what the true outcome is uh, for Christmas. So you come up with what that is for you and really celebrate that hard. And I don't mean going nuts with the food and the alcohol and stuff, but I mean celebrate it in a way that gives you a greater meaning for, for this year. So today, a little bit different, but this is all about mindset as well. And I want you to just have a perhaps a different mindset to Christmas so that you can enjoy and celebrate in this, uh, the days leading up to Christmas and uh, in the days after Christmas as well. You will hear from me tomorrow with a different message. But in the meantime, if you do want to reach out to me, you can go to the mental toughness and body show.com. You can opt in for a free consult with me. Um, the only days that I'm having off are the public holidays this year. So you can opt in whenever you like and we can have a chat and uh, get a connection started there. Have a great day. Stay safe wherever you are in the world and I'll see you tomorrow.